Barbara. Happy Vlogmas. December 21st. Christy comes today. Yay! So, <laughs> I didn't make her bed <laughs> or clean her bathroom, but I didn't take my shower yet today. So, I will go make her bed and then I'll clean her bathroom and get in the shower. <laughs> and all before she gets there. So it'll all work out. I hope you are well. I got a present in the mail yesterday. I'm so excited. But I'll do my advents first. The other night when I was reading too late, Dennis made me go to bed. I didn't hadn't finished the book. He said, where's your bookmark? But I was reading on my phone. <laughs> he was funny. And I don't know how to pronounce it. Ataroa. Ataroa is Maori for New Zealand. So now, the Maori word for New Zealand is Acharoa. There you go. Oh, thank you, my dear. Such an interesting place you live. Such an interesting place. I think this will go on the tree for now because, you know, want to use it and enjoy it for a few more weeks oh I had I made progress on my cowl last night I made a decision and just went with it so I will show you let's see uh, This might work into my new plan. Oh, I don't have my my light on. I can see that. Oh, it's purpley blue. Oh, very beautiful. Ah, oh, very beautiful. Speckly, a little bit of speckle in there. There's a little speckle in there. Ah, oh, vegan. So beautiful. Let me show you what I did. I didn't finish my next color. So that's what I did. When we last we met, I think I had just finished the white after the blue. And I, so last, well, I don't remember. But anyway, I went with the dark, Pink, and then I went with this green. I love that green and it goes, the green is in this color, which I also love, love, love. So that's the color I'm doing next. <sighs> but I forget what I had in mind for the last color. I don't. No, I don't know if that'll go or not. We'll see. This will maybe in my next one. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So anyway, oh, and I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm on the eleventh color, and. I guess I'm gonna just do what the pattern says, which is 12 colors. Now, I think it's really interesting that she puts 12 20 gram minis as, and this is how much I have left from a 10 gram mini. So it's really only five grams about, five or six grams. So why she says you need a 20 gram mini, I don't know. Threw me off. But I'm really happy with it. 
I must say, I must say I'm really happy with it. And I'm really loving this last color that I'm doing. I might try it on after I finish this color and maybe call it 11 colors. Because it seems big enough. It's going to be going like this. Although when I put this shawl on, or cowl on this morning, this this sweater I'm wearing is a v-neck sweater, and it's kind of low in the back, too. And it so it, it's a warm sweater, except it doesn't keep me warm, so I always need a cowl or something. And this is my heart and cowl that I made last year. And, um, which I love. But, to be honest, I can hardly ever get put this on in a way where I'm not always just mostly showing the back the the wrong side of the yarn I mean and I just put it on very specifically trying you know I was careful to have the outside on the outside and everything and yet when I went to look at it it felt like I was mostly looking at the inside so I'm thinking that this cow where I only put it on where I don't wrap it twice is way more likely to be showing the right side. So anyway, that's what I was thinking. And my cute little fairy. Uh -huh. I guess she's holding a tree. That's pretty. Pink and yellow on a wire, so it can't go on my on my um, keychain. And this is from the lovely Sarah who lives in New York. I think she lives not that far from Rhinebeck, is my guess. I haven't looked on a map. Oh, sweet, sweet card. I'm hanging that up. Oh, uh, Barbara. See what we got here. Ooh. Ooh. So, Barbara, I saw these earrings at a local craft fair and thought of you. Oh, pretty box. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Coffee cups. Oh, uh, with steam, how cute. And look at the bead. Can you see the bead? Looks like the steam coming out of the coffee. How adorable. I don't know if these will work with my cowl on, though. I may just have to be a little chilly. You know, we we suffer for our, for our beauty. It's because my earrings are long. How cute. These are, thank you, Sarah. These are so sweet. <laughs> How cute. The ornament. Oh, beautiful. It's like, like quilted or like folded fabric. The ornament is a Scandinavian star, and I'm having so much fun making them for friends and family. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Barbara, from Sarah. Oh, how sweet. Look at that sweet little gingerbread yarn there with the candy canes. How cute. Oh, thank you, Sarah. What a sweet, sweet gift. And it's got a little charm, because this is for the year 2021. Christmas. Oh, wow. Well, that's going on my tree, too. Thank you so much, Sarah. What a sweet, 
thing to do and think of me when you were at your craft fair. How fun. Thank you so much. And this is adorable and it's going to go up on my garland. Little bag. And a sweet little box. I'm saving everything. <laughs> just a just a sweet little sticker on that box just makes it so special thank you so much thank you so much that was so kind of you you guys are the best <sighs> anyway <laughs> and the steam was such a cute idea what a cute idea it's okay <laughs> My copy will keep me warm. I don't need my my cowl wrapped twice. I was annoyed with it anyway. I always feel like the the outside is showing more than the inside. So I think this may this size cowl may be the solution. Um, I was gonna say I don't have another cowl of a similar size, but I. I have a Hohi Locatelli three color cashmere cowl that I made many years ago. And, um, and I don't think that one, the inside doesn't show. It doesn't wrap twice, it only wraps once, but it's too long, it's too much. I think I might stop at, I might stop at 11 on this because the, three color cashmere cowl is you know this long however long that is um and and it's too long so i think i might stop at 11. can i re can i really make two cowls out of my how many cow how many how many striped cows does a person need i'm starting to sound like my mother right Barbara, how many sweaters do you need? <laughs> I guess it's it's a silly question. It has nothing to do with need. <laughs> Dennis did say that to me one time when I said, like, oh, I don't need that. He's like, what, what, what about this hobby of yours is need? <laughs> I'm like, you're right. It's all about pleasure and want and calmness and joy <laughs> that's what it's all about because if it were only about need i wouldn't need knit at all because i have a lot of scarves and a lot of sweaters maybe socks maybe just you know need need a pair of socks or two knit a pair of socks or two a year and that'd be it because i'm not really wearing out my sweaters and things although i wear them every day I just have enough in rotation. Anyway. I am enjoying knitting with Megan's Megan's minis, I have to say. So I need to be thinking about what I'm gonna wear, what, what I'm gonna make with them that will bring me joy in the making and in the wearing. Now I wear a hat every day in the winter because I walk the dogs. Um, and I wear my socks every day. But I could wear the same hat every day in the winter like for four months. But I can't wear the same socks every day. Yeah, I have to think about that. Anyway, I am going to put my ornaments on my tree and finish my coffee. And then I'm going to go make Christy's bed. Oh, and I have to make party salad today because we're going tomorrow to State College. Oh, we're going tomorrow to State College. So I have no idea what my vlogging situation is going to be. Um, <clears throat> maybe we should just assume that my vlogmas tomorrow will be 
up much later than normal. And then I will take video on our trip and put it up when we get home because we will be coming home. It's a day, it's a, just a day trip tomorrow. So maybe I'll do that and just expect my vlog must to be much later tomorrow. I think that'll be the plan. What do you think? Oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Oh my gosh. I have to think of something else to do with the rest of my yarn because I'm so in love with it. I'll be thinking. You can be thinking too. Talk to you later. Okay. Well, we have you're on five, video five. now. You're on. You're gonna be on the vlog. <laughs> Christy's here, but I just wanted to show you. Dennis had a raggedy morning, and had a run. He ran to the store to get some stuff, and on his way home, I called him and said, "Where are the keys to your mother's house? Because she's locked out and sitting on the porch." And he said, "Oh, I think I have them." So anyway. So he had to go, and so I decided it was my turn to cook. So I made mutter paneer. And it's ready. It's just blending. So I'm going to just say goodbye to everybody. Christy's here. Are you, uh, are you this way? I'm, I'm, I'm at you, oh, not sorry. at me. Oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so you've just been showing them around the kitchen? Yeah, well, I showed them my mutter paneer. They want to see the mutter paneer. They, they see plenty in my face. <laughs> Apparently she doesn't want to be on anymore and she wants me to do this. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. It just seems like a lot of kitchen. <laughs> and now there's more kitchen. <laughs> this is what I'm going to have to put up with for the next few days. Four days. I know. Of this joy. Yeah, this joy. <laughs> Comfort and joy. So I want to wish you all joy and hope that all is well with you. And please, please, please stay safe and stay sane.